Hey everybody, this is Mark with iApple Tech 128 and today we are going to be unboxing and reviewing the MP3 player from DHgate. This is in kind of like an iPod, I guess you could say. They call it an MP3 multimedia player. This one is from DHgate. If you are wondering, link will be down below in the description. As you can see, I got the purple one, didn't get a color choice, so that's okay. Multimedia player, MP3, and on the back it says MP3 multimedia player, MP3 player, and USB flash disk. That's what's included in the box. And as you can see, this is kind of like a clamshell plastic, clear plastic box, which looks fairly similar to the one that the iPod Shuffle came in. Okay, and there's that. Not really secured at all. I mean, of course, this is plastic. Not like the metal construction. Um, again, this right here looks much like the iPod Shuffle. So on the top of the box, it's kind of hard to see, but it does show you that you have different controls. It shows you how to work those controls. And I guess it includes more than it tells you, because this wasn't included on the back of the packaging. We have some white earbuds with yellow ear tips. Don't look all that great. We also have a USB cable. We have our mini USB connector right there. We also have our micro SD card slot with a little sticker off this side right here. Um, headphone jack on and off button right there. And then just like the iPod Nano we do have this little clip, just like that. Works very similar. On the front, have our pause, play button, fast forward, rewind, volume down, and volume up. This is the current generation iPod Shuffle. I guess this one goes this way. Buttons match up. But this is the current generation iPod Shuffle. It looks very similar to this one right here. Again, this one is metal plastic, um, much slimmer profile as you can see. But anyway, let's take a look at the software side of this and how you get your music from iTunes or wherever your music might be onto this. Okay, so on the software side of things, we do have to insert an SD card. This does not come with any built-in storage or memory like the iPod Nano or Shuffle. Um, so you do have to have an SD card. As you can see, I have one right here. Um, using it for separate things. There's nothing on it right now. So what you want to do is actually get a file of your music on your computer, or we can go ahead on into iTunes and then drag in any music we want. Throw it on the SD card, plug it into the little SD card port on the actual iPod or iPod lookalike MP3 player and then you will have your music. Anyway, that's all for this video. Again, this is an okay iPod if you do have an SD card laying around. Um, other than the part of buying an SD card, it is a very nice um, piece of equipment, I guess you could say. Um, if you do have an SD card, I would say go for it. It's definitely worth your $4. If you don't, and you wanna go to buy like a 16 gigabyte SD card, it was like $20 for that, $5 or so with shipping and everything for this and you're probably getting pretty close to the price of Apple's iPod Shuffle which could very well be on sale somewhere for a relatively similar price. Anyway, I want to take a minute to thank DHgate for sending this product out to us for review. I really think it has the potential and that's pretty much all for this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.